Hey, in this video, I'm going to give you my honest opinion about the two perfumes, Supremacy and La Fleur Bouquet, both from Afnan. If this sounds interesting to you, then keep watching. I received this packaging from Afnan. Afnan is a company based in the United Arab Emirates. So think about Dubai, think about Abu Dhabi, and they're specialized in affordable fragrances. And I really like their men's fragrance. Think about Supremacy, not only in 10 or 9 p.m. Those are really good. And let's check out their female perfumes. And what I really like, those Arab brands always put a lot of emphasis on the packaging, and this gives a very, very nice first impressions. So let's start out with the very first one. It's called Supremacy and yeah, I have tested it yesterday before just quickly, just the first impressions, but let's give it now a second try. So it's very different from European perfumes that are usually like especially the female fragrances. They have more an emphasis on freshness and lightness. If you have a Chanel, if you have a Dior, those are lighter European DNAs. This one here is definitely like an Arabian inspired perfume. That means it's a lot denser. So what you get here is, uh, it's first of all, it's good. Okay, it's a good perfume, but it's definitely not that fresh. Okay, it's an Arabian perfume. That means there's like lots of florals in it, some roses, some white florals. It's sweet and it's dense. It has some punch to it. So if you're looking for a strong perfume that gives you attention, then you might definitely consider this. If you think those Western brands are too weak, they don't last long enough, then this might be a very good option for you. But uh, however, Think about, this is not a perfume that you want to wear in Miami or Ibiza when there's 40 degrees Celsius out there because it would be cloying. However, I think it's a good perfume, especially if you want to grab attention around a day when it's 20 degrees Celsius. Maybe if you want to go out for a party, if you want to grab some attention, then this might be a good perfume. As I said, it's slightly sweet. It's a floral fragrance, it has roses in it, it has some white floors, and it has an Arabian touch to it, and it's denser. So, I have not tested the longevity, but I can tell you it will last probably a couple of hours, definitely, because it's that strong, it's dense, yeah. So, what you should expect to pay, I think you can get them for around 35 to 40 euros, at least here in Europe. So, if you're in the US, just think about those prices in dollars, like maybe 35, 40 dollars. I think this is okay price, especially for 100 milliliters. Now let's check out the second one. It's called La Fleur Bouquet. And I've not tested it yet, so I'm curious. I'm very curious. And the packaging is very nice. Look at the packaging here. Wow. I like this if you have good packaging. Of course, those perfumes you can't buy in the normal perfume store, they usually don't list them, so they have a little advantage in the packaging because shelf space is not that precious. Okay, let's check it out. Wow, the, this is the bottle here. Okay, the bottle looks really nice. So if you're into the collection game, if you like to collect bottles, then yeah, that would be a nice one to add, I guess. And La Fleur Bouquet, I hear it. it is a clone, or let's say inspired by a much more expensive perfume called La Fleur Narcotique from Kilian. Kilian, a French brand, super expensive actually. So let's check out how this here performs. Oh, okay, this is very different. This. This here is very, very different from this one. It's also a floral perfume, but it's fresher, it's lighter, it has more fruity elements, it's definitely more fun and less sweet. However, it's also strong. I would see this more as a spring, summer perfume. Like if you're going through, I don't know, a field of flowers, maybe there are some, some fruit trees left and right. It, it's messy. It's not citrus notes. It's more, oh, what is it? It's hard to tell. It's, it smells like tutti frutti, kind of like a mix of different fruits with some floral notes. It's a strong perfume, so it's not very light, but it's, 
Mm, it's also not as dense because the sweetness is lacking. So this is much more suitable also for warmer temperatures. However, don't expect it to be a super fresh perfume. It's like, it would be probably best to wear it in spring up to 25. Yeah, up to 25 degrees Celsius, it would be perfect. So it's, this is a great daily, by the way, because it's not that annoying. It's a more, yeah, more relaxed perfume, let's say, not that attention grabbing. Yeah, definitely also quite a nice release. I have not tested longevity just from the first smell right now for its impression. I would give this probably like five to six hours, maybe seven on your skin it will last longer than normal perfumes because it's, it's it has some punch and this one here probably lasts forever because it's oriental it's sweet and yeah both of them you can get probably for around 35 to 40 dollars i will put the links in the description to amazon and yeah thank you for watching see you next time bye bye